Sita. Now, you have always been a patriot in some of the toughest of times. In fact, you were openly critical um, of India's policy and stance towards uh, terrorists, starting from when we exchanged militants for uh, Rubaya Sayyid to IC814. I want to ask you if Omar or Sarah had been kidnapped or if they were on that plane, would you have willingly sacrificed them for the greater good of the nation? Yes. I told that to the Prime Minister then, when Rubaiya Said's came, case came, and Gujral Sahib and uh, the other minister came to Srinagar for release of those five prisoners. I said, even if all my children have been taken by them and they're going to slaughter them, I would greatly sacrifice myself as well as my children for the nation. Nation is much more greater than Farooq Abdullah and his family. But that's not an easy decision. It no, comes it with... is how you feel inside. What would you say, A, yours, and then India's greatest mistake has been vis-a-vis -vis Kashmir? It's a long story of mistrust. Long story of mistrust. What would you say yours would be then? Mistrust, what? exactly the same thing. That you lost the faith that, of the uh, uh, That uh, uh, mistrust people? that was created when Mrs. Indra Gandhi was there. Now she's not in this world anymore and we Muslims don't believe in trying to rake those things up. Now your relationship with the Gandhis, at least politically, has been a complicated one. Mrs. Gandhi dismissed you, then her son reinstalled you only to dismiss you, and then his son... Rahul, no, he never dismissed me. You resigned? I resigned, but, I, under but he didn't want me to resign. Oh, okay. He didn't want me to resign. I said they have appointed a governor that is not going to be good for the country. And I don't think I can work with gun being on my shoulder and trigger being in his hands. It's just not on. So I said, no, I'm not going to be there. Let them rule now. Because now, earlier it was I who was in the middle taking the bullets. Now it will be directly Delhi taking the bullets. And you take it and see how it goes. And they realized that they had made a mistake. And then uh, Rajiv Gandhi's son, Rahul, has sort of helped get Omar um, into the chief minister position. They seem to be friends. What is the current relationship between the Abdullahs and the Gandhis? How does it stand? See, the relationship is very good. There's nothing wrong about it. No there past... No, um, no, my father had no past baggage. anger, even after being in the jail for so many years. How do you, you do should that? see the tears. How do you well, do that is that? how you feel yeah. inside. Our friendship is not just for the gains. You also have a son-in-law who is doing very well um, politically, um, Sachin Pilot. But he will never ever be positioned as a leader because it will be the Gandhi family that will take over if Congress comes to power again. Do you, do you feel somewhat bad for him and for no, bad for the other youngsters who are no. waiting in line, completely able, willing, capable? No. I think... One of the great things he's been able to do, he's been able to induct many young people in the government and uh, to give them the experience that they will need tomorrow when he makes a team. They'll never be number so one. The question is, well, who's going to be number one, who's going to be number two? No one can say. Let's come to your ministry now. Now, your ministry, people, some of the people find it a bit of a joke. There is the joke of you going around being called the Gober minister. Does this um, upset you and how, no, no, how no. unhappy were you no, to no, get no, the not at all, not at all. Those people didn't know what future energy holds. They know nothing except politically trying to pull you down. But did that you know a... enough about new and renewable energy at the uh, time? Because yes, I had seen windmills, but I didn't know the scope of it. I must be very honest about it. I did not know at all what is the scope of this. And I saw solar energy for the first time, what it can do. But it opened my eyes that sky is the limit. China is closing almost every couple of weeks a, a sort of power plant that is a, a polluting power plant. But how come we're not doing How, how about Germans? Not... How about Germans? No, but I'm talking they, about they, India. Huh? You don't seem to be making much noise. So what are your greatest achievements? Jharkhand. 